Welcome back everybody. Uh, anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I'm gonna make this one really quick because I'm currently staring at a bunch of fish. Um, I am on a giant Wisconsin River flowage. So, like this this, this thing goes on forever. <laughs> um, there's a lot of different Wisconsin flowages, so it's not any particular one, but everything I tell you guys today, uh, and like tips and stuff like that, you can use on any one of these flowages. Uh, first things first this morning, I'm starting by a tight shoreline right next to it, deep break. All right, let's go catch some fish. Okay, I'm gonna throw a night crawler down, try and figure out what these guys are. I'll do like a chunk of one. Hopefully we can figure it out. There's a ton of, ton of fish down there right now. And there's pretty much everything that swims in this state is in this bloge so <laughs> it's only one way to figure it out put something simple down see what's swimming around kind of curious is anything underneath these piers I don't really normally pier fish on a flowage Here there's bluegills under the piers. <laughs> Can always count on those guys. I wonder if there's anything else underneath here. What is that? Smallmouth? <laughs> little smallmouth, little smallmouth. <laughs> That's two species in like ten minutes. That baby smallmouth has me curious to know if there's any bigger smallmouth. Let's see if I can just cast, cast around for them. Just throw this gulp. I found another smallmouth. This one feels a little bit bigger. <laughs> so one thing you can guarantee in these flowages is an ample number of these guys. And every once in a while you get a really fat one. Like this guy is already getting fat, but he's gonna get way bigger. Still just keeping it simple with the gulp, gulp and a jig head. It's one of those like easy to cover water things. Um, then if you've never fished a flowage before, uh, like I'm sitting over like 20 feet of water right here and that's like three feet. So a lot of times fish will just sit on those uh, edges to ambush. I don't necessarily think they're using the, the pier, but that could be. Another one. I'm gonna guess there's a school over there. <laughs> this guy's a little bigger. <sighs> oh, small moths are so fun. <laughs> so glad I came here. You guys ever get a chance to fish a, like a big flowage? Just you need to do it. At this rate, with these chunky guys, I'll uh, I'll have a five pounder in like two hours. <laughs> Getting fat for the fall feed. So, like I said, I'm just using these gulp. Uh, these are the I think they're the two point five or three. 
yeah, 3.5s. But real simple stuff. I'll link them in the description below. I mean, they're, I'm not affiliated with them or anything. It's just they work. <laughs> Keep it simple. Gulp, jig head, catch fish. Like I said, there might be a school of fish over here. That's another thing about these flowages is those things will travel in wolf packs. So you'll get like six or seven of them could be in the same spot, which is really fun. What are you? Oh, <laughs> little white bass. I would keep you, but I'm not, I'm not keeping any fish right now. Maybe a little later. What was that, three species? Bluegill, smallmouth, white bass? What's that? Woo. Come here. <laughs> That's a nice crappie. I wonder how big that thing is. <sighs> Five species? Twelve and a half. I think I'm gonna keep that guy. See if we can get a couple more of those. I haven't eaten very many crappie this year. What are you? Oh, you were big. So it's like, it seems like these fish are hiding in the shadows. Okay. So I have all of my bobber stuff with me just for this purpose. Um, sometimes with flowages in the fall, the crappie will sit. Like, I got that guy in probably two feet of water. And uh, it's also why I brought minnows. So, very simple, pink jig head, and a fixed bobber. Hopefully this is a pattern. My extra lively minnows are <laughs> swimming away from the bite zone. That's something big. And I'm recording. 13 minutes between bites here. Maybe even longer. Ah, that's why. Lots of these guys around. Surprised I didn't catch one sooner. Goats. Ate my minnow. <laughs> Go turn into a giant crappie.
We got one. I found this tree out in the middle of the lake. Oh, and they are the crappies. Yay! I'm gonna have to mark this spot for ice fishing. And these guys are built out here. Giant crappie. Definitely good eaters. Still just using a jig head, but uh, that one came on a minnow. About 17 feet of water. So, and a, on a flowage, I don't know if you guys can see it, but <laughs> right there, that's a tree. Well, that's two trees. There's a tree there and there's a tree there. And then uh, I'm fishing like a brush pile in front of them. But be careful when you're driving around on flowages because you can run into that. It's not marked by any buoys or anything like that. Uh, on the map, it says there's stumps around. <laughs> so you just got to watch out for stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to see if I can pick off a couple more of those crappies. That thing was huge. Um, the cool thing here is that that was like a 12, but I mean super tall. So I only need like six or seven of those things and I'll be good for uh, a good dinner. But like I said, I haven't been getting into the crappies a lot this year, so got to get back into them when I can. Got one right next to the tree. Another good eater. Dude, I'm so glad I came out by this tree. <laughs> See? Tree. <laughs> I'm gonna see how close I can get to this without snagging it. <laughs> the fish? I had one on it, I didn't even realize it. Ah, white crappie. A little bit bigger. One of my favorite things about fishing these big flowages is when you find wood, you can find all the crappie on them. Um, I'm not saying like all the crappie in the lake, but like white and black crappie. Um, most Wisconsin flowages will have uh, black and white crappie mixed in. It's kind of cool. I know there's some really big ones um in these flowages so looking forward to hooking up with a giant white crappie on that is not a giant <laughs> basically cast it right next to that tree Luckily for me, the way the tree is formed, the tree goes that way. So. Basically have to just get it as close as I can to that tree over there. Let it sink down to the bottom on a tight line. That definitely doesn't feel like a crappie. If it's a crappie, it's a really, really big crappie. All I know is I gotta keep it away from the tree. <laughs> and it smacked a minnow, so. Wow. You guys are just, uh, Gonna have to go on the menu one of these days. Yeah? Is that what you gotta say for yourself? I mean, the colors on you guys are pretty cool. I'll give you that. What are you? just killed the battery I shut the camera off midway through the fight because I thought the camera was off that's a nice one I got about five right now a couple small ones couple mediums 
but uh, we're trying to get a gu about a dozen of those guys. Oh, that don't feel like crappie. Oh, but it is. It's just a big crappie. <laughs> Let's see how long this guy is. He might be too big. I'm okay with that problem. Yeah, it's slab. Just under 13. I'm not going to eat that guy. There we go. That feels pretty good. Because it is. Come here. Another good eater. It's crazy because I can, I can just tell that's like a 12, 12 incher, but man, they are thick. Okay, so. That's uh, that's five jumbo crappie in the net right now, bleeding out. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna just keep ten of those guys. I think that should be enough. Um, they're pretty big. Like when a crappie is like five, six inches to the top, you don't need anything bigger than twelve inches, and I definitely don't need like twenty-five of those because you can keep twenty-five of them, but there's no reason to do that. Um, I definitely will be coming back here. Uh, comment below if I should come back out in this lake ice fishing it could be very interesting i'm kind of curious though because a lot of the flowages in wisconsin get drawn down and i'd be curious to know like where everything moves to it'll be a new body of water to learn so i've actually never fished this flowage by the way <laughs> this is all new to me but flowages are all the same to me hopefully i'm helping you guys and hopefully i still have enough batteries to finish this video <laughs> Well, it would appear today's gonna be a short one. Uh, it got hotter out than I thought it was planning on, or than I planned on it being. And uh, when it does that, I don't know if you've used a GoPro before, but they hate the heat too, and they fry. And apparently my batteries have been, kill uh, well, it's been killing my batteries. So I caught five jumbos in the net right now. I'm gonna keep fishing for a little while, hopefully get a couple more big ones. If I get a really big giant, like, stupid big uh my personal best black crappie right now is 16 inches and then i think my personal best white crappie is 15. so if i beat either one of those or get something some you know somewhat close to that i'll show you guys on this camera but if not i hope you guys enjoyed today's little short one uh, i wish i could have made it a lot longer but it just not being prepared for what i needed and uh we actually have a whole fall here so let's uh let's keep our fingers crossed for some more monster crappie. Uh, it's been a while since I chased fall crappie. Hit that thumbs up for uh, succeeding on a new body of water. See you guys later.